the uh, thing about Manchester United is, as good as they are going forward, that number nine position, such an iconic role in a Manchester United side. We spoke about Paul Scholes. Well, he came out and he criticised Anthony Martial, who only got his second league goal of the season, his first in the league at Old Trafford this year. So there's arguments against him. Rashford, we're just discussing him. Uh, Cavani is not... A spring chicken anymore, so you don't think he's going to be a long-term solution whatsoever. Greenwood is still young and developing. Is this an area that needs to be looked at for you, Gabby? I think definitely Manchester United want to go to the next stage of you know winning the Champions League for sure because Martial can be frustrating. One day he's like um, Ronaldo, the next day you know he's like David Bellion that used to play at Manchester United. <laughs> you know, so he's very frustrating, and I think. Cavani's getting on a bit now as well. He will bring you goals, but he won't be able to do it every game. So for me, whoever can get that signature for Haaland, whoever in England, if it's Chelsea, Man City, Man United or um, Liverpool, whoever can get him on board will be a force to reckon with because if you put him in that Manchester United side, that's the missing piece for me. Haaland. Erling Haaland, the it boy in world football league. Does that solve the number nine position for Manchester United or do you think they already have the solution that just needs some more developing and tinkering? Uh, no, I think Haaland is, is unbelievable. Uh, I, I can't believe I actually played with his dad at Leeds and his dad couldn't score a goal if, if he tried, to be fair. And, and his son's come out as this prolific goal-scoring machine. He's absolutely unbelievable. Uh, I'd love to see him at Old Trafford, but I think Gabby's right. Whoever signs him, if someone does uh, at the end of this season, then uh, watch out. Because uh, if, if Liverpool or Man City get him, I don't think there's anybody to stop him going and win the league. Uh, I, I agree with him about Martial. I think Martial, on his day, can, can be absolutely fantastic. And then he can just switch off and not look interested and just stroll around the place. Uh, Cavani, um, years of experience, great goal scorer. But, but like Gabby says, I'm not sure he can do it week in, week out. He'll be used as, as, as more of an impact sub. Uh, and Rashford will, will chop and change from, from the middle to, to the wide position. Um, I, I think the, the next thing for United is Haaland or you know, someone like a Harry Kane, sort of a, a goal-scoring machine, because they, they do create so many chances. Um, uh, and if you're, if you're a goal-scorer, a natural goal-scorer, you are going to get chances and you are going to score bag falls at that club. All right. Well, Gabby, Cavani's only a year younger than you, so you can lace up your boots again. <laughs> Become the solution yourself and hope you don't end up like David Bellion. <laughs> don't, don't. Harsh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, tell you what, we're going to go back to one last... David, David Bellion's not on your Christmas card list. <laughs> Apparently not. I uh, don't think he's been on the show either, so uh, fingers crossed he doesn't find out about this.